<laughs> you know, on December 20th last year, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu issued an edict for the home of the old Boston Tea Party. As of January 15th, no tea house nor any other non-medical private business establishment, because of course she owns them all, Hmm. None of them would be able to welcome visitors aged 12 and up unless said visitors showed proof of having relented to one of those incredibly useful, totally tested, really trustworthy you-know-whats. And strangely, when Mayor Wu took to a live stream the other day to promote herself via social media, she appeared surprised that some of her victims in the city hopped on to push back. Hard. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. Here is the story. Saturday saw the video go viral via Twitter users such as Election Wizard, who added, great line, watch, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu's live stream didn't work out how she hoped, exclamation point. <laughs> And as Not The Bee's Harris Rigby notes, the comments from people were overwhelmingly critical of the poor, defenseless authoritarian and her bean town clampdown. Why do you hate kids, teachers, cops, firemen? And then there was, you are ruining our great city. And medical discrimination and apartheid. And we can't forget this. Medical tyranny is still tyranny. As Wu blinked and pulled back in evident surprise, the eruption continued, a digital venting over a literal lockdown. So the discombobulated Wu, well, she scrambled to say something, to pick out any hint of anything that could help her pass off the red-hot anger as somehow soft and unimportant. And key to her reaction was, of course, not acknowledging the complaints. Then she blurted, Okay, in the meantime, I will... I just feel like my life. I can say any questions anyone has. Evidently, she found the situation amusing and didn't want to answer those questions, nor this. How long will you mandate tyranny? And though it wasn't in the form of a question, she certainly didn't want to touch the simple one word expostulation resign. <laughs> the video is telling. But while suffering folks can find some relief in the act of venting, and they can see more evidence regarding how people truly feel when it comes to their lives and livelihoods, when it comes to people threatening them, people like Wu, people who will threaten them with actions of the state, and people who literally make their own living off of the sweat and toil of the people who are being threatened, the satisfaction is actually kind of superficial so long as nothing changes. This is not something about which anyone should be laughing or smiling or feeling comfortable. This is about much more. It's about freedom. And the American rebels who took arms against the Brits in Boston, those people who engaged in the Tea Party itself, I think they would find this quite shocking. They cared about freedom. It wasn't a laughing matter. And Mayor Wu dishonors their memory, their legacy, and the efforts of their progeny with her own authoritarian decrees. And I think it would be wise if she stopped laughing about it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us at MRC TV, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on Rumble, where, again, they don't censor us. Please remember to visit the MRC TV website, mrctv.org, and head to our Facebook page. Get a lot of interaction there. You'll find us on Twitter. You'll find us on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, kudos to all the people who are supporting us. Thank you so much. And if you want to support us a little more, go to the MRC store. It's great swag there, great items, and they kind of tweak a lot of the lefties out there. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.